August 23rd of this year at about 7.54 in the evening, uh, there was a, a, a little girl, a six-year-old girl by the name of Abilene. She's a resident in Albany Village. And in fact, uh, I know she's a little shy, and if she wants to step up, I would love to have her come up here now. Maybe, maybe a little later. It's OK. Uh, Abilene was with, I believe, her brother at the University of Albany Village. And unbeknownst to them, there were two large, two large dogs, two pit bull-type mixes. And out of the blue, they went and charged uh, Abilene and uh, attacked her. Uh, Abilene, you know, clearly, obviously screamed for his help, just screaming because she was being attacked. And, you know, she doesn't remember anything besides being attacked. It was that traumatic for her. Lucky for her, the two gentlemen on my left were in the area on the soccer field, uh, Pang Ho and, and Terry Kellis Farias. And once they heard the screams, literally without hesitation, uh, saw what was going on, <coughs> saw the dog, and ran to offer assistance. Uh, one dog was behind her, biting her on the back of the neck. The other one was biting her about her body and legs. And uh, 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 Mr. Ho grabbed the one dog that was biting her legs and pulled the dog away. Uh, Terry grabbed the other dog, literally had to put his hands in the dog's mouth to pry open the dog's mouth just to, to let go of the little girl. And once he did that, he reached down, picked her up, and had to raise her above his head as the dogs were still trying to get to her. Uh, and kicking at both Mr. Ho and, and kicking at the dogs to keep the dogs from, from, uh, from getting to Abilene. Uh, there's a definition for the act of courage and the act of heroism. I think that's it right there. Thank you everybody here and the police chief for presenting us the award. But uh, I think the most important thing is, is that the uh, little girl is fine now. And uh, one other thing that I would like to say is that uh, I hope people, when they walk their dog, to keep them on the leash, especially in public places. Thank you. I mean, had these individuals not acted as, as without hesitancy and without disregard for their own safety, um, this could have been a, an extremely more of a tragic situation for that. And for that, on behalf of the university and the police department, I want to thank you for, for being there you know, on behalf of the family, but for the police department and protecting some of our community members because we can't be there at all times. And people like you that are there to make sure that we, uh, we have a safe place. Uh, and uh, you should be proud as far as your actions. I know you, when we talked to you, it was like, oh, you know what, you just did what you had to do. Well, you know what, you did that, but you, you know, you clearly saved this little girl from, from much more injury and damage than had uh, you had not been there. So thank you very much. And I'd like to present you a Citizens Award for that was act of heroism.